play clock down to zero. And this is not the way to start a drive. It didn't take long to see our first penalty of the game, did it? We always talk about everyone wanting to get into the game in a hurry. The officials did as well. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Murray a give. This is Connor. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. But they certainly got dented with that first down run. So now they've got to be back on their heels a little bit as a defense. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. Now the first carry from Marlon Mack. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. There's Murray. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Now, if you're going to get rid of it, you better get outside the pocket. Yeah, you have to get outside of that tackle-to-tackle -tackle box, right? Get out there, and then you can do it legally. But he wasn't able to do so, and they end up losing the down as well. They're keeping the punter on the sideline. They're going to go for it here on the opening drive. They're going for it. Hits Murray. He's going deep for Brown. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. How about this? Well, they certainly took a shot to open this game. I know it backfired with the interception, but no lack of bravado from that sideline at all. And look, they told us before the ball game, they wanted to be a little more dangerous on offense. They wanted to take a few more chances. That opening pass certainly set a tone. Maybe a turnover, but I don't think it'll stop them from trying again the rest of this game. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. No play action here with Zappi. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Well, that's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion and it came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. Zappi. Flushed out right. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. Like any team playing, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. The field goal unit's going to stay put on the sideline. They're going to go on fourth down here. Zappy back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down, and the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they've got to be breathing a little bit of a sigh of relief. The first time you throw the football winds up being picked, but fortunately for them, it does not lead to points. Well, that tells you about team football, doesn't it? Everybody gets together. What's that term they use? Complimentary football? Okay, he threw the pick. The defense got together and said, hey, let's shut them down. Let's not turn it into points. They did exactly that. Knight gets a fresh start, a clean slate. And from the 25, they work this to the 29. Again. 
gain of four. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. From the gun on third down, Murray. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. The give is to DiMercato. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. They'll get this to DiMercato. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 16 yards there, and it's a Cardinals first down as well. Murray changing the play. Back to throw now on first down. And that's going to be caught downfield by Brown. And he's going to be out of bounds here all the way down inside the 10. A huge play there for Arizona. And even 40 yards. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. In motion left is Wilson. Murray to air it out again. They'll set up the screen to DiMercato. Touchdown, Cardinals! Amari DiMercato from six yards away. And the Cardinals post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Extra point good by Prater, and it's now a 7-0 game. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Taking it about the one. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, OK, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. On third down, here's Stevenson. And he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They're going for it. Zappi looking to throw it. Escaping the pressure right. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out. Then the Cardinals will now take over with excellent field position. Moore, the man in motion. On first and 10, here's Murray. That's complete to his running back, Connor. Touchdown, Cardinals! James Conner, 33 yards. And the Cards are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead.
Prater for the extra point. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled, haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's see if they can do better here on this drive. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Here now, second and four. Zappi looks to throw it. Open receiver here, complete, it's Parker. And he will be taken down, but it is a huge play there to flip field position. And they'll be on the other side of the field as we have reached the two-minute warning. Here's Stevenson. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Second and goal from inside the five. Stevenson will take this one in. Touchdown, Patriots. Well, that was a quick drive. The passing game set it up, and then the running game finishes it off. And how about how few plays it was to get it done, but they threw it downfield and then pounded it into the end zone. And as a former defender, I can tell you, it hurts just a little bit more when they run it into the end zone instead of throwing it. Ryland now following the touchdown, back out to kick it away. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but he's got a man complete. Touchdown. Marquise Brown, 75 yards. And the Cardinals go up by two touchdowns. Extra point good by Prater, and it's now 21 to 7. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Out of his end zone, here comes Jalen Rager. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And a very solid return out across the 45-yard line before going out of bounds. And that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. The Pats at the line, ready to go. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Looking to throw, Zappi. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Here's Zappi. Complete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down, and this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line.
Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. Murray's throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up second down. Murray going to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down and don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll run with Carter. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. First down, Murray. Dancing to his left. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Murray again, second and 10. Flush to his right. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Now a timeout single four, and they'll get him with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Murray going to try to throw on third down. Screen pass to Connor. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide, and these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Oh, that's offline. He hooked it. It's no good. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. This taken in right around the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Zappi looking to throw it on first down. Flushed out right. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it, and it's second down. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going, trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. Zappi's throw complete there to Smith-Schuster. Still going inside the 20. And he will step out of bounds all the way down at the five-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. 
On the draw is Stevenson. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Ramondre Stevenson. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots are back within a score. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And they're back with it, a touchdown at 21-14. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And, and even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. And Connor going to pick up a Cardinals first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. Murray now to throw. Escaping the pressure right. The ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. I don't know about you, but I can hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Cardinals. Hollywood, Marquise Brown with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Prater for the extra point. And the lead now up to 14. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Eluding the pressure right. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Gesicki. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Add this game to the last one, and they move the ball over 50 yards in two plays. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Zappi off play action. He'll find Smith Schuster. That's complete. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the nine. Nine yard line, second and six. Off the fake, Zappi. Rolling to his right. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Juju Smith-Schuster with an amazing diving catch. And the Patriots have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point by Ryland up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. Ready to 
to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First downs a must on this drive. And this will be caught at the 30. Touchdown, Cardinals. Marquise Brown, 75 yards. And the Cardinals use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. Extra point good by Prater. And the lead now up to 14. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Here's Rager. He's going to bring this one out. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Zappi and the Patriots come up here first and 10 at their own 27. It's Stevenson with a run to begin the drive. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Zappi from the gun. Oh, he was looking for Parker, but it's intercepted. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. But with the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys have been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along. But if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. They run behind center with Connor. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. All you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold them up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. On third down, here's Carter. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. They only got two, but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Murray on the sneak. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Murray keeps it himself, and he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that... And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Amari DiMercato taking it in from two yards out. And the Cardinals have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Prater on to add the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Here's Rager. He's going to bring this one out. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, 
they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the shotgun, Zappi. That one complete to Parker. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Second down, Zappi. He'll find Parker again, complete. So a P.I. call going to cost him there defensively. What did you see? Well, I think it's the right call, partner, because sometimes we'll see officials kind of let him play. But by the letter of the law, that's definitely a penalty. Zappi now on first and 10. Buying time to his left. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. On second down, Zappi to throw it. Over the middle, complete. That's Douglas. 